um, I was in Barcelona, and I got my phone robbed of two prostitutes. <laughs> hi, mom. Hi, dad. Uh, <laughs> I'll elaborate. I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't doing anything wrong. What happened was, is if you've been to Barcelona, there's a main strip of bars and clubs. It's called the Ramblas, right? There's a lot of pickpockets around there. And as I'm walking down there, all of a sudden, these two prostitutes, they come on either side. They go, hey, darling, you want a good night? Yada, yada, yada. We can show you a good time around the corner. And I laugh, man, because I'm street smart. I'm going, you know what, love, I appreciate it, but I understand this is your bread and butter. I understand this is how you earn your money, but, but you're barking up the wrong tree, right? Even if I wanted to, love, I do not have five euros to my name. I've spent it all in the club. And she goes, oh, you sure you don't have five euros? And honestly, love, I don't. Please leave me alone. At this point, the other prostitute on the left goes, oh, well, that's a shame. Because you're so beautiful, so handsome, I would have considered doing it for free and grabs my dick. <laughs> At this point, I go, no, thank you very much, love. That's very much appreciated, but I'll be on my way now. And I walk away. And as I'm walking away, I'm thinking... That's strange. Like, I know career criminals. That's very strange. They won't do this shit for free, no matter how handsome you are. Like, I know a prostitute or two through this job. There's no way they'd be doing that shit for free. Why would she say that? Like, why? That's impossible. Why would she? Well, you know what, Raoul? You are pretty handsome. <laughs> you got a nice smile and shit. Like, maybe, yeah, they just, they want to do it because you're a handsome motherfucker. You are, oh, you beautiful. You're really handsome. And as I was reflecting on how handsome I was, ladies and gentlemen, it was at this moment in time, I realized my phone was missing. <laughs> While one of them had grabbed my dick, the other one had slipped her hand into my pocket, stole my phone, and walked off. A very, very clever tactic. Now, I needed my phone. It was important. So I turned around. Luckily for me, the two prostitutes still stood on a street corner. So I approach them, and I just start screaming. I walk up like, you have stolen my phone. One of you has stolen my phone. Give it back. Let's not drag all this attention here. Let's not drag the police here. Let's not wake up the local residents. Give it back. It's not worth shit. I need it for admin stuff, but it's an S3. It's smashed up to pieces. It's not even worth 20 euros. And at this moment, one of the prostitutes pulls my exact phone out of her pocket and goes, oh, wow, that is a piece of shit, and hands it back. Street smart, man. If you like what you saw in this clip, uh, Newcastle Brown Tales Part 2 is on YouTube. Part 1 is only available to my Patreon subscribers. The link is in the comments. Uh, it's £2 a month. That is less than the price of a coffee, less than a McDonald's meal. Uh, and you get to see Part 1 with Paul Gasgoy. And I'll also be releasing a lot more stuff there. They get a lot more extras, a lot more hidden stuff. Uh, All My Heroes Are Dead In Jail or Touch Up Your Nan is coming out soon on there. In a few months, that will be on YouTube. Uh, so if you like what I'm doing, as I say... Please subscribe to my Patreon or, 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 or like, share, subscribe my YouTube if you don't have the money. If you don't want to commit to a monthly payment, you can just always buy me a coffee on my Ko-fi page. Uh, but please subscribe if you like what I'm doing because uh, if I want to continue doing it, if you want me to continue doing it, uh, I kind of need some money coming in. Otherwise, I'm going back to Dad's Corner Shop. Thank you very much.